Hello friends, family, and fans, I'm Harder D, and we are back playing Man of Medine. So, we're currently on the ocean, we're doing a cool dive to find a plane. <laughs> Some people showed up in their own little boat, uh, one guy's got a crazy eye, and of course, Conrad already seems like a dick, because he's flashing money to them, because, you know, that's what dicks do. So, yeah, they're having problems up above, and down below, we're going to be exploring a plane. So, that's about it, let's jump in. Whoop! All right, so here we go. One of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turn. <laughs> rear. Huh. Good on you, Connie. All right. South Pacific wreck. Oh, I'm playing as Julia now. The turret. We can get in through there. Okay. Cool. Oh, watch out for that thing. That thing looks dangerous. Yep, watch up. Watch for that. Oh. Oh, geez, she almost did get hit by it. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Jeez, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, ladies first? Oh, poop, I think the game... Can I just take a second to say... I think the, the with how quick that action thing was, I think that thing at the beginning, the punching fighting mechanic, I think that was testing my difficulty because that was a really fast thing that I almost missed. Holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Oh! Go, go, go! Uh, oh. Oh no, she's pregnant! She's pregnant! What's it called? Devil and the Deep. <sighs> yeah, he went deep, all right. And now she's pregnant. I mean, that booty, though. I mean, whew. You look one of those little lie. That girl's definitely going to get pregnant. Like, you can't have that good a booty and not get pregnant. Just saying. Whew. Okay. Oh. Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Oh, that'd suck. Uh... Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Yeah. But... Fuck it. I'm just gonna go. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm... Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, why would I have to be good at that beginning game? Now my game's difficult. I don't like that. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Oh, yeah, very bad idea. Very, very bad idea. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, ooh, that booty. Oh, yeah, bad idea. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, octopus! Octopus! Hello, random octopus. Okay. She is cute, though. She is cute, though. There we go. Oh! Oh, poop! Oh, poop! Whee! There we go. Isn't my mask now completely filled with water? Oh, never mind. They have a thing for that. Okay. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance, you get that. Nonchalant. Come out. I'm fine, see? Oh, yeah! No problem. Bitches! With that booty? Mm, she good at everything. Alright, searching in progress. Area 1 clear, area 2, okay, cool. This says it was a rescue plane. Okay. Launched from a U.S. base. Uh, okay. Awesome! They were on their way to help out a ship. Alright. Cool. Why'd I have to make my game hard by being good? That's like I found it in Set of Sacrifice, it does the same thing. That like, your first battle determines how hard the game is. And I was pretty good at it, so my game was hard. I don't like hard games. What's this? Ooh, oh, a bullet. That's a pretty big bullet, though. Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Oh. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Yeah. Tuck it in your underwear or something like that. So that way Fliss doesn't see it. I'm gonna say underwear because I guess she, I can shove it in my top. 
Either way, shove it in some weird form of clothing. I'm not exactly wearing much, what can I say? I don't exactly have pockets on my booty shorts. I'm gonna so die in this game. All because I made my game too hard by being good at a mini game. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. All be. Oh. Uh. This button? Okay. Plastic worked. Oh! Why has he got a gun? That's a good question. Uh. Oh! Jeez! Whoa, whoa. Stupid I, game. I went. My wet suit. Life gives you lemons. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're underwater. Who cares if you wet your wetsuit? Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Why is he still holding his gun? Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Um, uh, he's got a hole in the skull. I don't think he died from a plane crash. Hey, bud. Can I examine you? No? But, but, ooh. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree. Play with it. Play with it. Come on, girl. Oh, Julia. Oh my God. Hold on, I'm trying. Don't touch anything else, please. Excuse me, I'm just taking off. How else do you expect a plane to fly? Like, you gotta take off first. Wait. What? Oh. Wait. Wait. I wasn't done. Game! Oh! 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 There goes the head of the plane! Gotta get out of here! Now! But I was done examining! No! The, not, the, not the checklist! <laughs> oh jeez! Shark! Oh god! Alex! What? She just realized she's pregnant it's right now! Shark! Not interested in us! Let's go. But I didn't examine the dudes. Whee! Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Uh, I. Uh, uh. What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? He's fidgeting. Uh, I don't know. I. I wanted to bring something up with you, but it's. Not the best time. Uh. It's on your brain, buddy. Nothing. Nothing. Just kind of shaken up by a little brush with a gruesome and meaningless death. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. It doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Uh. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of <laughs> Yeah. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get up top. Uh, don't we have to decompressurize? Cliff, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Don't we have to... Oh. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? That's rude. You think they're pirates? Wait. Julia. Again? We gotta decompress you. Oh, okay. Oh! Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. We got a rocket launcher? We have to decompress. Uh, damn it, yeah, okay. Damn it, yeah, okay. Decompress. We don't want to get the bends. The bends are something about... Alright, I have no idea what the bends are, but like... Uh... This is taking too long. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. They only have a rocket launcher. It's alright. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. So what now? They started up a barbecuer, and a lot of money's flowing. I'd just be all like, dips, 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 there was dips, a dips, little dips, uh, dips. mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. See? What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is. What you guys find? Well, we've had a plane. a plane. Yeah, there we go. Huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? 
Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. Well, they won't know it's us. I mean, for all they know, I mean, it crashed in the ocean. It probably breaks. Just saying. Oh, this guy. Yup, killer listens to classical music while murdering, cliche. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Yeah. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Not really. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of her. Aww. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Out of a douchebag. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. Douchebaggery. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Yeah. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charm. He doesn't have much charm. So far, at least. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have much for charm. Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Well, I, did I? You're doing well. Such as... Find the thing and play with the plane. Got it. <laughs> Big decisions. I mean, everyone back up, Mr. Big Decisions over here. <laughs> I, I don't know about you, but I'm kind of a big deal. I played with the plane. <laughs> How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Yeah. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. <laughs> yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Ooh. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Hey there, polar bear. You good? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Wait, did we only go down like once? Can you believe what we just got to experience? Uh... I expected it to be cool, but that was... That was like life-changing. Like, I drove a plane! What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. Uh... What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Bullshit. You're staring off into the ocean like a zombie, and now you're all grumbling. I know, right? I'm sorry. He hasn't plowed in two weeks. Just tell me what's up. I guess I've just been worrying about things a lot lately. Like his penis. About us. And his penis. Uh... There's nothing to worry about, really. I honestly don't know what got into you. Everything's great. Okay. Yeah. You're right. I'm gonna go find Brad. And Conrad and Fliss. Did they just have like an orgy downstairs or something? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got... Distracted. You walk. Let's go get him. Sure. You walk like three feet. How would you get to? So, which one is? Uh, you know, where the magic happens. Uh. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I can deal with children. Conrad, beers. Where are they? <laughs> oh yeah, the beers. Catch up. I was just getting them now. Alright. I love his flower shirt, though. Definitely love his flower shirt. Dad shirts for the win. That's what I'm just referring to these shirts now, from now on. It's just dad shirts. Alright. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. I thought I was gonna okay. check out the bullet. Oh, now we're playing, uh, now we're playing cute stuff again. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. No, I'm good. Wait, did I take any pictures down there? Alex, why are you being a weirdo? Am I, am I gonna turn it on? Oh, there we go. I had to release the button. Boop! Aww. Boop! Oh. Uh -huh. 
Oh my god, Fliss, give it a rest. Ooh. Air rescue service. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't remember taking any of these pictures. Like, hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. Seriously, why is everyone like pushing me? I just want to explore the game. I didn't even get to examine the, uh, like the pilots. They looked like they were shot, like in the head and stuff like that. One guy was even holding his pistol. Come here, you vixen. Oh, whoa, whoa. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. It's plow time! Right here. He'll be Mr. Plow. Are there mosquitoes on the ocean? Someone asked me that. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Okay. Manchurian gold. Oh. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Sweet! Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they'd turn long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. Wreck this. All of you. Wait, what? Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. Yeah. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, dismissive. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there, and I don't think ghosts can talk. They might. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. What? You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. Oh, who cares you think about you can luck? scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool <laughs> ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. We did. We just Fred, played at the play. It's a fun ghost story, right? Uh. Yeah, sure, but... You know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. <laughs> uh, there we go, supportive. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Okay. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. As it they all say. Right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well. Down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Ooh, seems legit. Yeah. The lighthouse Agreed. stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. Okay. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman oh. covered in blood. Oh. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> uh, no, it's shush. <laughs> the woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an oh. axe. Oh! Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Yeah, it's classic. They're just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Okay. Uh. Pro you know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. There we go. Okay, so. Who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. Yep. So the lighthouse <laughs> keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. 
but he's cut his own throat. Hey. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Oh! Oh, okay! Oh, hey, oh, super twist. Nice. That was a pretty awesome story, though. Nice one, Squire. Uh, cool story, bro. You have me going. Pretty cool. I liked it. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Really? Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, <laughs> the internet. Found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders. Yeah? Right? I'm into this website. <laughs> Four good buddy. And I'm out. I thought she said it was supposed to be clear weather, because right now there's a storm I'm brewing. Was it just camping on the ship, I guess? On the boat? You call it a ship or do you call it a boat? Duke of Milan. Mulan! <laughs> Alright. Oh! Guys, there's some ghosts on the boat. Ghosts that use doorknobs. The winter goes! The winter goes! I told you there's a winter goes on the ocean! They're all like, you ate of the flesh! I'm like, no, we didn't. They're like, well, shut up! The Wendigo's attacking me! Oh, take that Wendigo! So when do Wendigo's have, a uh, knives? Oh! Oh! They had the sexy time with him. Okay. Pretty angry for ghosts. Okay. What's up, girl? Ooh, that booty. That's crazy eyes. He's all like, ah! I was born your boat. Be all crazy. Great, Conrad. This is all your fault. Uh, ungag. This is all Conrad's fault. Yeah. Oh, right. I am literally hitting both buttons. It tells me to point that way, and I literally have to point the other way. Put your put your face near my butt. Just saying. So, uh, on gag. Uh. There we go. Alright, so... This is all Conrad's fault. But Julia's all like, really? I'm the last one? Julia. You okay? I think so. Wait, wait, where's Brad? So... I love that... I love that they're not concerned at all that they literally just ungag themselves. Almost free. I'll say, next we're gonna untie ourselves. Fun fact, I can actually do that over my back. There we go. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of. Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> great. Just great. And the good news? Uh, recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Alex, what are they going to do to us? Well, Don't worry. They were going to kill us. 
We would have done it already. Uh, not necessarily. Just worried about being killed. Uh, uh, untie. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Throw backwards, hug. Oh, shit. That's no good. Come on. <sighs> oh! Uh, no thank you. I'd really prefer if you didn't punch me. I did. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of. Uh oh. You can go fuck yourself. You <laughs> go, Fliss. Go, the little lady. Oh, I didn't get a chance to block that one. Wow. Yeah, he really pissed him off. Hey, remember how he said it'd be a great idea? What do you fuckers want? Well, crazy eye, let's be all crazy. Am I gonna lose comrade already? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's agitate him. Just stop, man. We'll finish with him later. Okay. What was the point of that? So they're pirates. Arr! Be on your best behavior, little man. Uh, compliant. Okay. Let's lure them into a false okay. sense of security and then bash their faces in. Julia, you're coming back. There we go. Let's see. Now attack him and beat him to death. I have little scissors, jab him into his eyes when he's blind. Oh Jesus, Conrad. Now he's Jesus Conrad? Yeah, pissed him off. Wait, wait, no! Alex! Stop it, let her go! You bastard! Wait, doesn't it lock from the inside? Hey. Dipstick. Shut the fuck up. Is this the name Junior? I think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Am I not gonna Did you see my brother? Untie him? Wait, what? No, <laughs> I didn't. I forgot! There's Brad! I hope he's alright. What happened to Brad? Turn around. Yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, it's like, are we gonna, you know, free him? Don't let them your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take him by surprise. And that's what my plan is. Okay, they're coming. Oh, that. Wait, was the narrator there? The narrator's there! Motherfucker! See, right there! Good. They asked about our parents. Oh, oh. How much money they have. Yep. Thanks, Conrad. This is all your fault. Stab them in the eye. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Oh, that was the most, like, deadpan uh, way of saying. Alright guys, but we're actually out of time. We're going to continue our little story next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, subscribe so we get to see what the pirates are doing to Fliss's ship. And until next time, you have yourself a great evening. Bye-bye!